Every time I stare at a blank canvas before I begin a new painting, there's an energy, an excitement to create something, to get my thoughts and ideas out of my head and onto the canvas, to create something beautiful, different, interesting, compelling, something to share with others. With all that energy and excitement also comes fear. Fear is one of the most basic emotions. It binds us all. Yet often we allow fear to overwhelm and overcome all our rational thoughts and hinder our plans. It stops us in our tracks. Fear of failure, fear of being judged, fear of death, fear of not being loved, heights, spiders, storms, flying, public speaking, and the list goes on and on and on. Has fear ever stopped you from doing something new, taking on a challenge, going outside of your comfort zone? Why is this? If we all experience fear at different places and times throughout our lives, why do we allow it to interfere and keep us from growing? When I was young, I loved to draw. My mom bought Learn to Draw books for me, and I remember practicing drawing all the time. The Disney cartoon characters, animals, our pets, anything and everything around the house. As I got older, I dreamed of painting. I loved art and seeing how artists express their thoughts and ideas, their vision of the world and themselves through paint and canvas. But I never attempted to paint. I allowed the fear that I wouldn't be any good at it to stop me from trying at all. I told myself I was too busy with work, college, life, and art was just a dream. About 12 or 13 years ago, I began to paint. I had no idea what I was doing. I had no formal art training whatsoever, but I took the leap into putting paint onto canvas. I think the only reason I was able to overcome my fear of failure as an artist at the time was that I told myself I wasn't really an artist at all. I would keep my painting experiment to myself and no one would ever see the end result. I loved the process, yet fear kept me from growing as an artist and I put the paints away for long periods of time during the past decade. Slowly and steadily I began to paint more and more over the past few years. There's a point in just about every painting I work on, even now, even today, that I look at it and think it's garbage. I'm frustrated. I have no idea what to do next. But through the process of repetition, I'm learning to challenge the fear that remains and use it as motivation to keep going. Instead of allowing the fear to stop me, I take a step back and look at the work in progress. I try to look objectively at where the painting is at, where I want it to be, and what's missing. I remind myself fear is just an emotion, and instead I'll put work and energy into what's missing in the painting to make it better. It doesn't always work out, but I value the process and even the struggle. I remind myself that when I feel that fear, it's a good thing. It means I'm growing, I'm challenging myself, I'm stepping outside my comfort zone. I'm stronger and better for facing it than allowing it to consume me. And I can apply that experience of challenging fear to other aspects of my life. Fear is defined as a natural, powerful, and primitive human emotion. It's a survival mechanism that alerts us to the presence of danger or the threat of harm, whether that danger is physical or psychological. We have a physical and emotional response to fear. When we confront a perceived threat, our bodies display a physical response like increased heart rate, sweating, or becoming more alert due to adrenaline. This physical response is also called the fight or flight response as the body prepares itself to either enter combat or run away. Each individual also has an emotional reaction to fear based on personal experience. In most situations, the fear we experience is more of a psychological reaction rather than true survival. So the fear isn't a good or bad thing. What matters is how we respond, what we do. Next time you feel fear, ask yourself, 
What am I really afraid of? What's the worst that can happen? Is the threat real or imagined? What happens if I do what I'm afraid of anyway? How will it feel to overcome the fear? Instead of giving in to fear, use fear as a motivator, as a marker that you're about to embark on a new path. Stick with your plans, push past the fear, and see the beauty and the challenge ahead.